Do you take in the sides a bit like we discussed? Yes. And what about Hafiq's baju songket? It's over here. The reporters and brand sponsors are going to be here in the afternoon. It's all been arranged. Maybe you can steam this part again before he comes later. What is it? So, what about Hafiq? He wouldn't want to lose face by not showing up. These contacts are very important to him when he goes back to playing badminton full-time. You mean he agreed to patch back with you? There's nothing to patch back. He didn't even mean what he said the other day. But you said he wanted to break up with you. Who knows him better, Afia? Me or you? Are you his fiance? I'm sorry. Anyways, just make sure this place is ready later. And can you, like, spray air freshener or something? The place smells so stale. Hey, you're going to be late. Good morning, Aravind. Wakey, wakey. What time is it? Time to move, son. Oh, crap. <laughs> crap is right. You forgot to set the alarm? My phone died. Phone died? I get such a sense of satisfaction, you know, huh? from helping people like Mikael. Did I mention it's what I really get into grassroots? Oi. You have been talking about this the whole night, huh? Uh, still haven't finished, yeah? Hey, seeing people live in peace and harmony it makes a big difference, you know. You also told me this last night, huh? You forgot already or what? Now that there's a community piano, Mikael can freely play without disturbing his neighbours. Huh? <laughs> oh, I better go to the CC and see how else I can help. Go, 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 go. Uh, don't disturb me. I need to start work already. <sighs> Son. I wanted to pass this back to you. Uh, sorry, uh, no refund, no exchange, all and sales. No refund. Now that I can use the lovely upright piano at the CC, I don't need this anymore. You can have it back. Sure or not? Ready? Take it. Hey, thanks so much for all your help. It meant a lot to me. Mm. Thank you for your business. Uh. to second-hand sale. Confirm. Anthony has been giving us problems. Mm. Don't know whether you are heard from Nelly or not. Mm. You know, Anthony went to quit Swat Wow. I knew he's been feeling burnt out, but... What burnt out? He just needs to wake up. Anyway, his mother tore up his resignation letter. What? But then, he lost his temper at her and said she's always trying to control him. Wow. I mean, usually they are quite close, right? Yeah. You know, the two of them haven't talked to each other since then. Not even one word. I'm guessing neither wants to admit that they're in the wrong. It must be tough for them. Tough for me, yeah. Tough for them. Huh? End up during dinner, only me and Peling talking to each other. And Nelly probably thinks that she knows what's best for Anthony. But on the other hand, Anthony thinks that she's forcing him to do what she wants. And that Geraldine make things even worse. She even encouraged him to leave Swatow. But if that's what Anthony wants, then... That Anthony, eh? You think she really know what he wants? I want to work for another TCM clinic. What? I have many years of experience in this line. I'm sure I'll be able to land a good role, like Geraldine. Dear, I was just about to ask you to withdraw your resignation. I lost out on another sale again. It's not like I won't have a job. It will just be a different job. If you work for another TCM, you'll just be an employee, just like Geraldine. And? And? Don't limit your earning power. In Swatow, you are next in line to take over. You'll be a business owner. I may never even take over Swatow if Ba never thinks I'm ready. Eventually, you will. Uh. Whether he likes it or not, he can't be in charge forever. And until then, I have to deal with being stressed out by Ba and my every single day. Do you have any idea how that feels? Ayah, then you just tahan a little while more. Enough is enough. I've been tahaning my whole life. Nobody even appreciates it. Little bit thing, he cannot tahan. Always complain we give him a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. Have you tried talking to him about this issue? I talk until the cow come home also no point. He doesn't listen. Okay, 
Uh, let me rephrase. Have you tried listening to him? Allow him to talk about his concerns. Basically, just hear him out. Like I say, he only knows how to complain. Yes. Why do you think that is? Simple. Mentally, he's weak. He needs to buck up. No, no, no. I... One of my biggest regrets in life is lying to my kids about me going to prison. And why did I lie? Because I was afraid of what they might think of me, what they might say. If only I had been open about it from the very beginning, Arasi wouldn't have felt so betrayed and she would have turned to that Jared idiot. What's the connection? The point is, communication is a two-way street. It is important to take the time to understand each other. If not, it's very easy for relationships to break down. Okay, tell me, when was the last time you spent time with Anthony? All the time, right? At the shop? No, no, no. Not the shop. Just quality time. Father and son. Just hanging out. What are you all doing here? There's something going on between you and Anthony. And don't bother denying it, huh? Anyway, she's here to talk some sense to you. You understand, right? As mothers, we just want the best for our children. But our children are big already. What's best to you may not be... <sighs> so ungrateful. How many times I help him? He took it for granted. Now suddenly, I'm very controlling. You are what? If I'm Anthony, I feel the same way too. Uh, um, what Pa is trying to say is... Um... Maybe Anthony thinks that his feelings are being ignored. Anthony has never been very independent. Isn't it high time that you let him make his own choices? I know him better than he knows himself. That's why I have to stop him from making the wrong choice. I give up. You two continue talking. I'm going fishing. Don't know what's the matter with that boy. He just doesn't know what's good for him. Hey, young people are like that. They have their own ideas. If Hafik and Farah got married, at least I thought there's still hope for my badminton academy. But Hafiq is interested to go into property, right? I've seen him study here a few times. That's why. At least if the academy is up and running, Hafiq can see that badminton is where he really belongs. But he doesn't want, right? He doesn't know what he wants. Or else he wouldn't have broken up with Farah in the first place. Actually, he wouldn't have broken up with her if he was happy being with her, right? Hey, looks like the wedding is still on. See? Farah is doing a live stream. Thank you all so much for coming today to witness this special occasion. My fiancé, Hafiq Ibrahim, and I are very happy to unveil our wedding baju for our wedding coming in one month's time. Where's Hafiq? Will he be here soon? Uh, both our baju songkit were designed by the very talented Afia, one of Singapore's most sought-after designer. There were rumours that Hafiq broke off the engagement because of another woman. Can you comment on that? Uh... I don't know where you heard that from, but it's fake news. There are many who are jealous of us and our relationship. This is not what we agreed to. Your moody face is inappropriate at this time, Sayal. I thought we would... Just shut up and smile. Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming. I haven't seen some of you in a really long time. So... How do you feel about that upcoming wedding, Mr. Ibrahim? Uh, as you all know, uh, this is something we've been looking forward to. What do you think you're doing? Why don't we take it inside, G? Well, I have an announcement to make. If Anthony really wants to leave Suatau, why don't you give him a blessing? You did the same thing as Geraldine, right? Anthony is different. He can't survive outside. Well? Clearly, he can't survive in Suatau either. Not with the amount of pressure you and Tiefu have been giving him. Tie, you know I went through the same thing with Damien. Eventually, I realised he's going to do what he wants to do, whether I like it or not. Damien wanted to go for a holiday. That is different. It wasn't just a holiday. He needed a change of environment to find himself. You know, at some point as a parent, we just have to let go and give them space. I already gave Anthony space. I haven't talked to him since that time. It's been long enough, mother. You know, Anthony told me this morning 
He wants to work outside for another TCM. He doesn't feel appreciated. Pei Ling, I don't think that I know. We have to make your father appreciate him more. Then he want to stay on. Mm. Mm. Just try it, will you? It's made to measure based on the measurements of your favourite polo. Farah, seriously, what are you doing? Let's see how it fits. Okay, perfect. Even though there are some creases, now get the bottoms out. Farah, the wedding's off. Getting the press involved won't end well. Now try them together. Farah, stop. I'm not doing this. I wish it didn't have to come to this. But you're not leaving me with a choice here. To me, actually, it's really about promoting a sporting culture in Singapore. But... Sorry, Baba. Sorry, everyone. There's been a misunderstanding. There will be no wedding fitting today. Actually, there will be no wedding at all. Farah and I have broken up. So, will you still go ahead to start up the badminton academy together? And when are you going back to competing full-time? About that, I'm officially retiring from badminton. I've decided to devote my time to pursuing other interests. And what are these interests? Sorry, that's all I have to say for now. Thanks, and sorry for wasting your time. How dare you try and sell my keyboard a second time? Who says I'm selling? I know you're waiting for a buyer right now. No. For heaven's sake, I'm the buyer who made the offer on second-hand sell. Huh? It's you, huh? This holds a lot of sentimental value to me. I'm taking it back and there's nothing you can do about it. But I repair it for you, okay? You owe me the repair fee. You didn't repair it for me. You repaired it so that you could sell it off to someone else. It's mine and I'm taking it back. Hey. Any luck getting through to your sister? If you think Tiafu is stubborn? <laughs> Must be hard for Anthony. I mean, going against their wishes is one thing, but he still has to live under their roof. I'm worried Anthony may have another breakdown. Hope they can resolve things before it's too late. Speaking of late, Aravin completely overslept today. <laughs> Mandy and Damon do that every day. <laughs> I know, but Aravin is different. It's never happened before. Maybe he's just at a late night. No, 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 no. This is something different. Could it be extra sensitive after what happened with RC? No, I know my son. If he's going through something, I want to nip it in the bud. Ah, you know, the hospital has that community garden initiative. So? Why not get him to volunteer? And you could spend more time with him in between your breaks. <laughs> what? I just came from there. You want me to go all the way back just to collect some lame welfare pack? Come on, it's a free insulator mug and a cable organiser. Just because it's free doesn't mean you need it. You're such an auntie, Gaw. I just thought if you're going there, you could help Katija collect one too. She really helped us with the whole Jared thing. Plus, she's always so busy. I thought she even knows this. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I'll go if I have time. Have you seen Katija? Nice shirt. Hey, I heard about the little stun you pulled at the bridal studio. You know, that just makes you look more wishy-washy, especially after you broke Katija's heart for the first time. Thanks for the input, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Anthony, what are you doing later? I'm doing the accounts now. Later, I'll be checking the inventory. I mean after that? After inventory, I have some consultations and then meeting a supplier. Oh, when you finish all your work? I don't know. Work is never really finished. Father, have you heard the good news? Anthony has been headhunted for his TCM expertise. Yeah. People hear this how his patients might follow him to his new company. I'm not talking about work-wise. I thought we can do something together. Something fun. Up to you. Okay, okay. Enough already. Wow. First time I see the two of you so loving. Anthony, this means you're going to stay on in Zuo I was hoping after that day, you'll see that I want to make my own decisions. I know. No, you don't. Wow. 
You still don't get it. You can't protect me forever. I didn't want. It's your choice whether you want to stay on in Swatow or not. You only want me to stay on in Swatow because you think I can't survive outside. Dear, we all just want what's best for you. You have a thriving family business here. Why would you go and work for somebody else? No. You want what's best for you. All these years, you've been telling me what to do, what to say, controlling every little thing I do. Just like how you control Brayden. Bar asking me if I want to do something fun. It's the first time in my life that anyone in the family asked me what I wanted to do. The rest of you simply don't care. Dear, okay. wait. I need my space, okay? Come on, it'll be fun. Am I being punished for waking up late in the morning or something? Of course not, nothing like that. I just thought it'd give us more time to hang out. For example, I don't know what games you're into these days. I used to know things like that. It's um, Legendary Mobiles. It's a multiplayer battle arena thingy. Okay, I see. So, what do you think? You want to do some gardening after school here and there? Think of it as picking up a new skill. Huh? I guess I can give it a try. Right. Oh, yeah. There's someone playing the piano or something from the room. No? Noisy like anything. I could hear it all the way from the lift lobby. You should go and complain. Ta-da! It was me, silly. Hey, I thought it was spoiled. Chan Wing Fai very kindly fixed it for me. Oh, okay, come, let's go. I want to go to a fishing shop before dinner. Don't you want to hear me play? Huh? I've been feeling so inspired lately and I've even managed to write a whole bunch of little riffs. Why don't you let me play them for you and you can help me decide which ones are keepers. <laughs> It'll be so much fun! <laughs> I was having classes the whole day. What's so urgent that you had to try and call me five times? I managed to get my hands on Chucky Chan's latest release. I wanted to pass it to you. You know, I haven't even had the chance to read the comics that you passed me last time. Uh, when are you free? We can go for coffee. I can pass it to you, yeah. Uh, Faisal, I told you already, kan? Nothing's gonna happen between us, you know? But it's just coffee. Uh, I have to go. W wait! Hello? What are you doing here? I was looking for you, actually. Okay, and what are you wearing? Uh, I'm looking to start a new trend, actually. Stylo, again. Hmm. Mother, tell me honestly, okay? Am I really very bossy to Brayden and Anthony? What about me? Am I really very overprotective? Yes, you are. But I also understand why you have to be that way. You are used to it already. You've taken care of everything for Anthony since young. Maybe that's why he's not very independent, you know? Then you? You're doing the same thing, what? Everything you say, Anthony will do. Is that why he married me? Because I remind him of you. That is not a bad thing, what? He married you because he knows you can take care of him. Actually, uh, I was quite surprised just now when Anthony stood up for himself. Actually, I was quite proud of him. Me too. Come. 
I can't. I have a consultation. I postponed all the consultations. You deserve a break. Okay. What's the occasion? No occasion. Just spending time with you. What? Cannot, is it? Can. Can I play my phone game? If you want to. I just got back my results for a recent test and I did quite well, so I'm happy about that. What can I say? That's the scholar way. Stop calling me that. I'm not a scholar, okay? I'm just a mugger. Well, the fact that you can work two jobs while mugging at the same time, I'm telling you, Katija, you're destined for great things. Whatever, okay? Hey, you still haven't told me. Why are you wearing this baju songkit top? I guess you haven't heard the news. What news? Oh, is it? So, Hafiq, is this woman the reason why you broke off your engagement with Farah? You did what? You came straight here after you made an announcement at the wedding boutique. Any reason for that? I... um... So, Miss, what's your relationship to Hafiq Ibrahim? Not the bright side. You get to learn a new skill. <laughs> I already told Dr. Han not to overwater you, but he's definitely Loki Kiasu. Is it a doctor thing? Must be, right? I can't even. And who knows, maybe after this, you can even start a little vegetable garden along the corridor outside the place. That would be fun. I know, I know. Root rotting is really sucky, but we've been through worse. Am I right? Son, hello? Yeah, um, vegetable garden. Yeah. 